Hello everyone and welcome to an introduction to Google Voice for G Suite. My name is Najit Patel um, and I head up delivery services here at Highview. Hello everyone, uh, thanks for making time today. Uh, I'm Miles Hisher, I'm sales director here at Highview Solutions. Um, today's presentation will focus on providing you um, uh, existing G Suite customers uh, an insight into Google Voice for G Suite. Um, for any questions or comments, um, please post them in the chat pane here, uh, or feel free to contact Narjit and I um, after today's session. Perfect. Thanks, Miles. Um, so the agenda here you can see on my screen. So first I'll cover off a little bit about Highview Solutions and who we are and what we do. Um, and then um, I'll go through Google Voice for G Suite in terms of what it is specifically. Um, and then we'll also cover off um, uh, why you want to potentially move over to Google Voice for G Suite as well um, and, and how we can help you bring it to your company. Great. Uh, and then I'll, I'll dive a little bit deeper into the features of Google Voice for G Suite and then we'll talk about the pricing structure. Perfect. Okay. So a little bit about Highview solutions. Um, so here at Highview, we do definitely care about people um, and actually that's part of our mission. Uh, what we're doing here. So we cultivate a very people-centric approach to workplace technology. And essentially that means that we make sure the technology is implemented correctly, whatever that technology may be. Um, and we want to make sure that the people come along this journey with us and that, that you're truly seeing the value of implementing such technology. Okay. So some of the objectives here for, for the presentation, so the end of the presentation, as you can see, um, is to re-explain exactly what Google Voice for G Suite is and how we can um, help replace your existing PEB, Microsoft IP, PEB solution. Um, also, what we'd like to do is make sure that you'll understand what makes Google Voice for G Suite different from leading competitors and also talk a little bit about the associated costs with that. Now, for any more information, uh, please do contact sales at highviewsolutions.com. The email address is here, as you can see on the slide. Um, we have done a little bit of introduction in terms of to, to Miles and myself, but Miles, anything you want to add here? Um, yeah, I, I, I will add that I, as part of the sales team at Highview, um, we, we mostly deal with, with organizations that are switching to Google G Suite for the first time. Um, but what we're finding is, is that over time, uh, there's more and more opportunity for products like Chrome Enterprise. And, and now with Google Voice for G Suite, we're, we're excited to be speaking with many of you about how to consolidate uh, your IT stack further to the Google ecosystem. Perfect. Um, and as you can see here, I head up delivery services at, at Highview Solutions. However, I do take um, a specific role within our deployments as well. So I like to, to head up um, wherever possible, the project and change management um, components of our deployments um, and essentially our deployment of, of Google Voice for G Suite too. Um, okay, so let's move on now in terms of, you know, why, you know, why Google Voice for G Suite? Um, so essentially, you know, Google Voice uh, for G Suite is, um, we'll go, I'll go through some of the, the reasons why here you would want to move over. Um, essentially, it does what we're finding is it is going to, to reduce and, and it has been reducing overhead with the associated costs uh, for, from a system administration, uh, system administration perspective and provide valuable context and control for end users. So really, um, it's very, very kind of simple to use. And I'll go through some, some more of these um, aspects here. Um, but essentially, we want to help you to try to reduce your current overhead potentially uh, and help with kind of administration uh, of Google Voice for G Suite. Perfect. So um, I briefly wanted to touch on um, why organizations at, at this moment and why some of our clients so far are choosing Voice over other SMB telephony solutions. Uh, and it really so far has boiled down to four reasons. One, like it's built by Google, so you have the native G Suite integrations, um, consolidating billing around just one, one vendor. Um, you have all the advantages of, of Google technology, which Narjit will talk about in more detail here, uh, and it's competitively priced. So on the right-hand side here is different solutions that 
our, some of our clients are using today within their organization um, that have started uh, speaking with us about potentially moving and porting those numbers over uh, to the Google Voice for G Suite service. Okay, so a little bit more about why uh, Google Voice here for G Suite. So essentially there's three things I'll talk through, um, simple, smart, and scalable. Um, so what I'll do is talk through these each in turn, um, hopefully giving you a bit more insight into why Google Voice for G Suite might be right for, for your company. So from a simple perspective, so I mentioned this already, but for administrators, the G Suite admin console, uh, which many kind of current G Suite um, customers are used to, really helps to consolidate users, numbers, porting and billing, and all of it's very kind of very, very simple to do, all from the admin console itself. Um, also, um, from an end user perspective, uh, end users get a familiar interface, so the fact that it's really kind of um, fits very well with the rest of the G Suite components is great. It's, again, uh, a similar interface, and you can also customize settings to suit specific user workflows as well. So from a smart perspective, so Google does actually use artificial intelligence powered by spam filtering um, and voice transcription help to users save time. So essentially what that means is that um, Google will basically identify any, any, any spam um, help to kind of filter those out so users aren't spending time looking at that. And also the voicemail transcription is very, very, very powerful. Um, and so it has been tested for, for very, very uh, quite a few months now. And actually the outcome is, is very powerful for users and we're getting great feedback about that. Yeah, so and, 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 and I, I, actually, Naraj, let me add one point there. Um, yeah. So Google Voice as a consumer service has been around for about 10 years. Now they're finally making like a paid version uh, for administrators, um, but very similar to how Gmail was a consumer product and they folded it into Google G Suite um, to, and they're able to fight spam by using the architecture across the consumer and business versions. It's the same here with Google Voice. Um, so they leverage the consumer footprint to help fight spam and robocalls that people are receiving and they apply that to the Google Voice for G Suite um, ecosystem now. So. Perfect, great point. Thanks, Miles. Um, so from an integration perspective, so, so G Suite integrates really, really well with Meet and Calendar um, to help users. And, and really some use cases for that is if a user was going to be out of the office, for instance, um, their Google Voice uh, for G Suite account could be synced up so that automatically uh, a voice message or a recorded message is sent to people contacting a user that's you know out of the office and the way that you would do that in Google Calendar is set up your office hours and it would all sync quite nicely together um, without kind of much kind of um, overhead there um, so that's really 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 good and also if users are going to be in a meeting um, and so Google Calendar kind of working with Google Voice works together to again do a similar type of, of, of feature there um, as well. Anything else you want to add around smart, Miles? Uh, no, I think that's it for now. Okay. Um, so from a um, from a scalable perspective, so um, the fact that administrators can provision numbers globally, actually instantly, without dealing with providers, makes the process of moving over to Google Voice for G Suite very, very seamless and simple. Um, the fact that porting can all be done through the admin console as well is, is very, very powerful and hopefully will save a lot of, uh, a lot of customers' time. Um, also here, as you can see, so with permission, users can choose a number and set up their service, uh, service independently to themselves. Um, another great, great way it's smart, actually, um, is that when using Google Meet, for instance, um, right now you can actually dial out to someone using Google Meet to actually um, get them to, to join a meet by using Google Voice for G Suite. You actually have a number and, and a name associated to that. So rather than getting unknown caller or just a random number calling a user, people will be able to see who's exactly calling them because their account will be uh, connected to their Google Voice for G Suite account. Um, and then here I've talked about some of these points already, but the fact that it really 
this kind of unifying communications here for G Suite customers, the fact that it works, um, as you can see here with Hangouts Meet, Hangouts Chat, Jamboards, Hangouts Meet Hardware, um, all of it's trying to provide a unified comms, um, something that's very simple to use and also cost effective uh, for, for customers as well. Um, just one note here, so um, right now, so you can make and receive telephone calls on mobile, desk phones, um, also Google, uh, Google Voice for G Suite is also supporting Polycom uh, OB editions, VXX150, 250, 350 and 450, and actually more hardware will be kind of linked uh, to Google Voice for G Suite going forward too, okay? Perfect. Um, so that takes us to the end of specifically why uh, Google Voice for G Suite. Um, I think right now we can move on to, to Google Voice features, Miles.